We will now take a look at the quick start guide. This will take you through some of the steps covered in the unboxing video, including unwrapping the printer and the battery and charging the battery. Let us now look at connecting the printer for the first time. The ZQ300 series printers have a passive NFC tag to the side of the media bay, the location indicated by the embossed logo here. Tap and pair your NFC enabled Android device. And if you have an app loaded, select that. If you do not have an app loaded, then it will take you to a website landing page on your device website browser. And this is something that you can choose when you tap and pair the printer if you do have an app loaded as well. The printer setup utility that I have opened here has lots of options on there to manage the device. You can also look at different settings on the printer, change those settings. Uh, there are printer setup wizards uh, for print quality and other features. And also you can download files from it to your printer, including firmware updates. If you need to do a, a simple print test, you can do that very simply and easily as well. Now, as an alternative to using the tap and pair, you can instead scan a QR code on the lower housing of the printer. Doing so will also take your website browser to a, a printer landing page that contains a lot of useful information such as how-to videos, user guides, information uh, about how to clean your printer, where to buy supplies, for example. However, before you attempt connection, note that our printers are shipped with Bluetooth discovery set to off as a matter of default. So to change this, you first need to press and hold the feed key for five seconds. At the end of those five seconds, the Bluetooth logo should start to flash on your printer. And that means that Bluetooth discovery is temporarily set to on. And this will enable you to pair your devices for the first time. With the printer setup utility, you can easily go in and change the setting for Bluetooth discovery to set it permanently to on. Or you can do any one of a number of other different tasks. Alternatively, if you wish to leave your Bluetooth set discovery set to off, you can do so knowing that the device that you have just paired with it will be able to pair with it in future. So you will not have to go through the discovery process again for this one device. 